What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. I hope you're a quiz lover, because for today's lesson, I've prepared a quiz based on common grammar mistakes that even advanced English learners make. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's get on! So today's lesson will consist of two parts. In the first part of the lesson, I'm gonna give you 10 sentences with two options, A and B. You're gonna choose the correct answer and, very important, write it down. Then, in the second part of the video, I'm gonna give you the correct answers and you're going to find out your score. And if you get everything right, Please let me know and I'll hand this medal over to you. Ready? So let's get down to business. So the first question, A, I'm concentrated, B, I'm concentrating. Choose the correct answer, A or B, and really important, don't forget to write it down. Number two, A, he explained me the situation. And option B, he explained the situation to me. Choose A or B and write it down. Number three, option A, the acoustics in this cafe are horrible. And B, the acoustics in this cafe is horrible. Pick A or B and write it down. Number four, A, the scenery is gorgeous. And B, the sceneries are gorgeous. Which one is correct, A or B? Number five, A, I wish she stopped making so much noise. And B, I wish she would stop making so much noise. Choose the correct answer. A or B. Number six, A, even if I'm snowed under, I won't miss your housewarming party. And option B, even though I'm snowed under, I won't miss your housewarming party. To be snowed under means to be very busy. And of course, don't forget to choose the correct answer, A or B. Number seven, A, I'm used to live alone, or B, I'm used to living alone. The same, pick the correct option, A or B. Let's move on to number eight. I want you to jump off the deep end, or B, I want that you jump off the deep end. Pick out A, or B. Two more to go. Number nine. He's married with a famous actress. Option A. And option B. He's married to a famous actress. So choose A with or B too. And of course, write it down. And last but not least, number 10. Option A. I had a quick lunch and B, I had quick lunch. Choose the correct answer, A or B, and for the last time, write it down. The first question, the correct answer is B. I'm concentrating. So to concentrate on something means to focus on something. Some examples. I'm concentrating on the quiz. Another example, I can't concentrate. And one more, she seems to be concentrating. While concentrated is an adjective that can be used to describe juice. For example, concentrated juice, which means that water has been removed from it. Another meaning of concentrated 
is when there is a lot of something in one place or for example to many people in one place we can say that this place is usually concentrated with people so if you've got b in the first question put a tick number two the correct answer is also b he explained the situation to me so after to explain we need an object to explain something and then to someone another example could you explain it to me let's continue the third question the correct answer is a the acoustics in this cafe are horrible so acoustics is a plural noun that requires a verb in plural form and it means the design of a room that determines how well the sound can be heard in it so if you've got this answer right don't forget to put a tick number four the correct answer is a the scenery is gorgeous so remember that scenery is an uncountable noun unlike view which can be used in plural the views but the scenery is always singular the scenery is gorgeous number five the correct answer is b i wish she would stop making so much noise so we use would after i wish when we want to express annoyance and criticism of something happening now i made a video on i wish and its different uses if you want to grasp this important grammar structure you can find the link to this lesson in the description box number six the correct answer is b even though i'm snowed under i won't miss your housewarming party now i want to explain a little bit the difference between even though and even if even though means despite and is used to talk about a definite outcome we can use it in the past or to talk about something happening in the present for example even though i was tired i went for a run so it happened in the past and we had a definite outcome it happened and we use even if to talk about a possible outcome and describe a hypothetical situation that might not be real we can take the same example and use it in the second conditional for example even if i were snowed under i wouldn't miss your housewarming party so in this case we're talking about a hypothetical situation that might not happen because maybe i won't be snowed under so this is the difference between even if and even though so if it was correct don't forget to put a tick number seven the correct answer is b i'm used to living alone it's a very common mistake that i've corrected millions of times remember that after to be and to get used to we have to use gerund i'm used to doing something and i want to tell you about another really useful structure that you can use to talk about getting into the habit of doing something and it's something takes a lot of getting used to or something takes some getting used to or if it's negative it doesn't take much getting used to i think it's a very very nice and different structure to talk about getting used to something let's look at some examples number one working remotely takes some getting used to it means that you need some time to get used to it the second example wearing a mask takes a lot of getting used to 
true story. And one more example in a negative form. Living in Spain doesn't take much getting used to. Number eight, the correct answer is A. I want you to jump off the deep end. So unlike in Spanish, in English, it's not correct to say I want that you do something. Incorrect. In English, we have to say I want you to do something is to want something or someone to do something. Two examples, I want you to be on time. And another example, I didn't want this to happen. And here we've got a very interesting idiom to jump off the deep end, which means to do something challenging, new or difficult without any help or preparation. Number nine, the correct answer is B. He's married to a famous actress. Unlike in Spanish, in English we say to be or to get married to someone and not with someone. But be careful because if we use the verb to marry, we don't need a preposition to marry someone. For example, a very typical question, will you marry me? And the last question, number 10, the correct answer is A, I had a quick lunch. So it's a bit tricky because as you know, we say to have breakfast, lunch or dinner without an indefinite article. But it changes if we add an adjective. In this case, we have to use an indefinite article. For example, we can have an early breakfast or a delicious lunch. So remember this nuance. And guys, I've got a bonus question. The sentence is, if you come to Valencia, I recommend visiting A, Lake Albufera or B, the Lake Albufera. Choose the correct answer, A or B, and let me know in the comments below. And guys, if you want to brush up on your grammar, I recommend buying this book, English Grammar News by Murphy. It's my favorite grammar book. It's very complete. First, it focuses on explaining a grammar aspect, and then you have exercises to practice it and then you've got also solutions at the end of the book. So I think it's a great book that can help you a lot and prevent you from making these common grammar mistakes. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this quiz and found it useful and I hope it wasn't too easy. Please let me know your score in the comments below so that I can give you your well-deserved medal. And guys, I've got another grammar quiz that I made a long time ago. If you are up for it, you can find it right here. And guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!